Hi guys, Raven here with BBB Supplies and I am back with our weekly Wednesday washi tip. This week we're gonna show you some new banner styles for June. I'm starting here with this really simple but really cute banner. I'm just tearing some pieces of washi tape here. Don't be too precious about it because as you can see here, I'm going to rearrange it and sort of re-space it according to the width of my page. You just wanna cut the number of pieces for the number of letters that you're gonna write in your banner. That is what is so great about washi tape is you can pick it up and reposition it. Now I'm going to take my X-Acto and clean up the edges of where I tore the washi by doing some varying lines. Some are going up, some are going down just to give it a little bit of interest, which you will see once I peel the tape up. How cute and how playful this little banner is. Now I'm doing a pride theme since it's June. Happy Pride Month, guys. And so here I wanted to do all the colors of pride, so I'm going to actually write pride and then I had to throw a little heart at the end because I wanted to use all of the colors. Here I am just tearing up these edges and they come off really clean if you're using the X-Acto knife. That is my favorite tool. And then I'm gonna grab a Sharpie marker and I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to write my word directly on the tape. And then I'm going to connect it in the middle with these cutie little arcs. And look how adorable this banner style is, you guys, and so easy. Here I'm gonna show you how to do it when you're using like a month, for example. So I'm gonna do June, since it's June, and I'm switching to pastels, because as much as I love Pride, I do not love primary colors, so I am vibing on the rainbow pastels today. Here I am doing the exact same thing. I just sort of laid it in haphazardly, and then I'm cutting my edges at different angles to give it some visual interest. And then I'm going to grab my Sharpie and write June right on top of the tape. This time I'm actually going to connect it though using a different uh, angle that sort of dips down. And you can see how one style banner can actually just have like a slight change and look completely different on the page. Here I'm going to keep going with my pastel rainbows. I'm just taking pieces of washi tape and I'm making sure to line up the vertical edges nicely, but of course I'm not worried about the horizontal because we are gonna go back in and clean it up with our X-Acto. I always explain to people that when you're working with washi and the X-Acto knife, you sort of wanna have a Goldilocks outlook when it comes to it. Not too hard because you'll cut through the paper and not too soft because you have to sort of score the washi tape. You're basically just telling the washi tape, hey, I want you to tear here perfectly. And if you do it just right, it becomes very easy to just lift the pieces right up like I'm doing here and we have a straight edge. I'm going to pick up my thick Sharpie and just draw a rectangle around this rainbow theme and then I'm gonna grab my thin one and do my little 3D effect because I love when a banner looks like it is literally popping off the page at you. So this is three new banner styles to add to your banner arsenal. It's always great to have different banner types that you can do because not only do you have to use them for dates but you can use them to even just name your page. For example, if you have a habit tracker, it's a quick, easy way to add color and add pattern to that page to create some interest. I hope you guys found these banner styles helpful. If so, be sure to hit that like button and be sure to follow us for all things washi tape. We'll see you next week for another Wednesday washi tip.